I was sent more custom Yu-Gi-Oh! booster packs. What's up guys, we're back with more custom booster packs. The guy who sent us those guaranteed hollow Legend of Blue Eyes custom packs sent some more epic custom packs, so let's see what he sent this time. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, let me know your favorite piece of mail in this video. Our first item, we have a gold bubble mailer. These say open first and shadow game, so this could get interesting. We haven't even gotten to the custom packs yet, so this could be a crazy video. I don't know what's going to happen. This has been open first. Let's see what we will get inside. Custom cards. Bruxen, hello again. We finally have our Yami Yugi and Seto Kaiba card decks available in our shop that you can find on Amazon or Facebook page, Duelist Kingdom Cards. For those interested, hope you enjoy those complimentary sets. Nick, Duelist Kingdom Cards. On a more serious note, I would like to challenge you to a shadow game. To accept, open the gold package entitled Shadow Game. Here's their card. You guys can check them out. Let's see about the, the Yugi and the Kaiba. So we have Yugi. Let's go Yugi last. Let's go into Kaiba. Let's see if we can pull the blue eyes white dragon. Let's go through the deck. All right, Kaiba. All right, these are kind of hard to shuffle through. Sagi, the dark clown. We got a Ryukishin. We got the Force Raider. Hitatsumi Giant. We got the Gadget Guy. Obelisk, the Tormentor. Cyber Jar. Lord of D, Blade Knight, Kaiser Seahorse. We got the Spear Dragon, Kaiser Glider, Chaos, Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End. We got the Battle Ox. We've got the Mystic Horseman or something like that. We got the Lamp. We got La Jin. We got Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes, and Blue Eyes. We got the three Blue Eyes, the most powerful monster that go into the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. So there's Kaiba's classic Blue Eyes cards. We got the uh, Fang of Critias, maybe. I can't remember exactly. We got the Crush Card Virus, Doom Virus Dragon. Here's all the XYZ monsters with the XYZ Dragon Cannon. We've got the other fusion monsters. We've got Soul Exchange, Cost Down. Uh, what is the card called again? I forgot. It's, it's pretty good, actually. I know that. Include Summoning Dragon. We've got Shrink, Silent Doom, Monster Reborn, Enemy Controller, Left, Right, A, B. A Ring of Defense, Ring of Destruction. That's the uh, that's the old OCG art, which is cool. We've got the Interdimensional Matter Transporter. Cloning. Shadow Spell and Virus Cannon or something like that. Let's see what Yugi has. We have Yugi himself. These are kind of hard to uh, sift through. Karibo, Mystical Elf. I almost said Mystical Space Typhoon. She looks very blue. I think she got a tan. Amoxious Kelty Guardian. We've got the Big Shield Guardian, the Electromagnetic Turtle. Summon Skull. Summon Skull! This guy, I can't remember his name. We pulled him in Retro Pack. I always forget his name. Archfiend of Guilford. We've got the Queen's Knight, King's Knight, Jack's Knight. we got the uh, Arcana Knight Joker. We've got the Magnet Warriors with the Valkyrian. Gazelle, the king of mythical beasts. Perfumet. And they make the Chimera. We got uh, Breaker, Curse of Dragon, Gaia. Gaia, the dragon champion. There we go. I don't remember this card. What card is this? Let me know in the comments. Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, Buster Blade. I'm surprised Dark Magician is so late in. But I guess Blue Eyes was for Kaiba too. Dark Paladin. We've got Magician of Black Chaos. The guy I always mess up his name. we got the uh, the other one. I can't remember the name. I need to watch the season more often. We've got the Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. Maybe that's Critias. I can't remember. Swords of Revealing Light. Light Force Sword. Chain Destruction. Sly for the Sky Dragon. It's so hard not to just talk in the Yugi voice the whole time. Black Cluster Soldier. Black Cluster Soldier Envoy at the beginning. Polymerization. Monster Reborn. We've got the, uh, the boxes. I can't remember what they're called. Brain Control. Good one. Spellbinding Circle. The Magical Hats are classic. Mirror Force and the Magic Cylinder. So a lot of awesome cards from the show. Will we accept the Shadow Game? I'm not sure what the Shadow Game is, but nah, we won't do it. I'm just kidding. Of course, we're going to do it. All right, let's open this thing up. Read first. I am glad I checked this. I almost went backwards. Inside this epic parchment we have here. The game is simple. There will be four rounds. Each round, you will choose one of two hidden cards. Stand for the Yu-Gi-Oh! emblem. We'll see if you truly have the heart of the cards. You'll keep one and send the other back to me in a return envelope provided. After revealing your chosen card, open and reveal the other card, but only after revealing your selected card each round to see if you made the correct choice. After revealing both cards at the end of each round, open one of the small wax sealed included envelopes that has the same color stars as your first selected card before proceeding to the next round. It will contain my reply to you at the end of each round. Let us begin. We have round one. I gotta probably check the rules again to make sure I'm doing this right, but I think we opened this. These are wax marked. This is actually lit. Okay, so how this works is they have a matching wax sealed envelope that we will open only one of. We open both of these. It's all up to the heart of the cards. I either take gold or I take silver. Obviously, gold is better than silver. Usually, gold means first place. Silver means second place. So, obviously, we should choose this one. However, is there a mind game being played here? Is silver what we're actually supposed to take? The obvious answer is gold. But the second level answer is silver. But what if he knows that I'm going to think, oh, gold first. Maybe silver is the actual answer. So, maybe he's actually just doing gold and making it obvious. But actually, not that obvious if you think about it. Here is how we will choose. Heads. Gold. Tails. 
silver. Let the Pequeno Moth decide. It's heads. Gold will be chosen. Let's see if we chose correctly. Heart of the Pequeno Moth. Here we go. What did we win? Slash pick. Slash whatever. We pick. I feel like this is not the correct answer. Mech Lord Astro Mechanical. All right. So that's what we chose. Now let's see what the other option was. Second, this is the one that will be returned. Other option. The Trihorn Dragon Secret Rare. All right, Pequeno Moth. Own up to what you've done. Now we read the answer. Wax. Let's see. Better luck next time. Shadow game, round two, what will be inside? What will the colors be this time? All right, we have double, two star, the blue. We've got two star to red. Last time we let the Pequeno Moth decide. That's not happening this time. Naturally, blue seems like the good guy. Red seems like the bad guy. Last time, he gave us a little dipsy do, like gold's better than silver, but I'm gonna put the good one in the silver pack. So maybe he did it again. Or he's like, ah, he's gonna catch on. I'm gonna flip it back or we're gonna do blue. So you know what I'm gonna do? We're going to let the Chicolates decide because Pequeno Moth failed us, but why would we doubt the Chicolates? They will decide. Heads, blue. Tails, red. Here we go. Heads yet again. Is it blue? Let's see if we were correct. Chicolates will decide. So far, Pequeno Moth is 0-1. Can Chicolates take the lead? Token Stampede. Chicolates, you failed us. Let's see what we missed out on thanks to the Chicolates. We missed out on a first edition, The Fiend Mega Cyber from Fair Servant. Uh, will it say better luck next time or will it say something else this time? You're in over your head. Let's tell that to Chicolates. Round three, we have missed both. We have trusted the Chicolates, the Pequeno Moth. So far, they have failed us. We have three, oh, we're going with silver and gold again, huh? This time, it's silver versus green. Interesting, because green means go, silver means second best. Now you're just really going crazy here. So far, if we go with the better one, at least in my brain, we have missed. It seems like silver would be the right one, but by round three, you'd think you'd catch on, right? I mean, you switch it over to the green by now, huh? Pequeno Moth can't fill us twice. Let's see. Heads, green, tails, silver. Here we go. Silver. Silver it is. Our first time on the left side of my, you know, made up decision. Shadow game. We have a first edition. Magic Jammer. Pequeno Moth is now one for two. We can trust him yet again. He might move on to the final round and help us decide. We've got a first edition Magic Jammer. Let's see what we avoided with the Pequeno Moth's epic prediction. We avoided a Mech Lord Army of Skiel. All right, we finally got something. Let's see what is inside our special wax marked thing. Now that we actually won something, let's see. You truly are the man, the myth, the legend, Ruxin34. I am Ruxin34. That is true. I don't know about the rest of the stuff. Round four. Inside. So far, we've gotten one out of three, which is not fantastic. We have gold. Four star gold. Final decision. The first one was silver versus gold. Silver was right. Red was correct in red versus blue. Silver was correct again versus green. So does that mean that red's going to be correct again versus gold? That's kind of what I'm leaning to. I think that the power of the Pequeno Moth has done its job. I think we want to go with red. That's my guess. That's my guess. Let's see if they switch it up on us or not. And they did. That's why you always trust the power of the Pequeno Moth. Another Wiesel. Let's see what we missed out on. The gold. The power of the gold. We have a first edition Metal Raiders Barrel Dragon that we missed out on. Awesome. Great. Great. One out of four. All right. Let's see what is inside the red. Oh, Ruxin boy, maybe you need more training at the Duel Academy. Until next time, ta-da for now. We epically failed the shadow game, but that was still pretty fun. Our next thing is the custom packs. Aloha, Ruxin, sending you more homemade packs. This time, five unlimited Magic Ruler and five unlimited Pharaoh Servant. May have tweaked the pull rates again, but nothing crazy like last time. All right, last time was every single pack, so let's see. Also included one homemade Metal Raiders pack. I know you have a fancy for Petite Moth and GG. Be sure to open the Metal Raiders pack first. Here is our single Metal Raiders booster pack. These custom packs were epic last time so let's see if they can live up to the hype of last time here we go we have the pequeno moth is this ocg this is amazing oh a first edition pequeno moth that's legendary first edition pequeno moth oh my goodness what an epic pack oh we've got an unlimited pequeno moth good good Ooh, a gate guardian super rare japanese copy this is really cool i don't own this oh another pequeno moth another Another and another. That is a beautiful pack. Can you possibly beat this pack? Even though the Pequeno Moth failed us in the Shadow game, it would never fail us in a real duel. All right, we have a Toll from Magic Ruler. Slot Machine. 
Ceremonial Bell, the Eat Kaboom, and Banisher of the Light right off the bat. It's another super rare. Is this going to be another crazy time where we get all super rares? A beautiful super rare Banisher. I did pull this in first edition out of like the first Magical or pack I ever opened or something. Okay, maybe not ever. I probably opened one back in the day, but since when? I, since my return. Next, we will go on to Ferrisar. I think we're opening the correct order this time because last time I started up on the wrong side and we ended up pulling one of the best cards right off the bat. Let's see if we can do it correctly this time. Pharaoh's Servant, one of my favorite sets. Let's see. We got Solomon's Law Book, Invitation to a Dark Sleep. The Dark Bat. Very nice. Metal Detectors, in case you lost some metal. And a Limiter Removal. There's some metal that you might have lost. Very nice. Limiter Removal. And I see an epic card coming up next. Oni Tank. Ruxin 34. Beautiful Gust. Ground Collapse and Deep Sea Warrior. Another Magic Ruler pack. We have 10 custom packs. This is so legendary. So thanks again for sending these. These are so much fun to open. We have Eat Gaboon. Peacock. Koto Dama. October, sir. We just passed October. Too late. Mahavilo. Very nice. Another super rare. And we are sleeving these up. It's funny. I'm sleeving them up right out of custom packs. Like they're, you know, actually straight out of the pack. Which they are. Straight out of the custom pack. Weather Report and the Queen Bird. We have Souls of the Forgotten. Earthshaker. Overdrive. Oh, we rocks and special on a custom pack. Gear free, the Iron Knight, Joey Wheel. Okay, ground collapse, attack, and receive insect imitation, dark fire soldier. This is such a classic card. If you don't remember this one, did you even watch the show? We have another magic ruler pack. We eat Gaboon. Spear Cretan. That card is the bane of my existence. Ancient one of the D Force. And Ooh, a Toon World. These are awesome. Who doesn't love the Toon World? It's such a cool card. There's literally a world coming out of a book. Is that not awesome? That is such a cool card. Probably a top favorite from Magical or for most people. We got Electric Snake, Tyhone, Flash Assailant, and the Red Archery Girl. On to the next Pharaoh Servant pack. We got Overdrive, Armored Glass, Flame Champion, Gamble. And a Magical Hats, like another classic from the anime. Magical Hats. Where's the Dark Magician? Hiding under one of the hats. And we will never hit it on the first try, second try, third try. We'll probably have to use every single try to actually hit it. Skull Mariner, Cold Wave, Earthshaker, and Dark Bat. Because somehow, Yugi always put it under the right hat. <laughs> Magic Ruler. Twin Long Rods number two. The classic Dark Witch. Koto Dama. And... Ooh, an Ultra Rare Tune. Mermaid, the tunes are coming out. This is epic. If there's a blue eyes tune dragon in here, I'm gonna pass out because that would be absolutely insane. Love to see that card. The Penguin Knight, Reliable Guardian, Queen Bird, and Mold Destruction. It seems that those ratios are yet again 100% because we have pulled seven hollows in a row. We are on eight. Pack number eight, attack and receive. Skull Mariner, Cold Wave, and finally, Goblin Attack Force. I do love this card. I think this card's really awesome. It's actually really cool in a skill drain deck. Really, really good. 2300 four star. And me, of course, back in the day, not now. <laughs> you know, that would be terrible. World Suppression, Insect Imitation, Type Zero Magic Rush. Last two packs. We'll finish it with Pharaoh Servant. Let's finish MRL first. All right. The Crab himself. Electric Snake. Psychic Kappa. Griggle. Ooh, Serpent Knight Dragon. It might not be the Blue Eyes Tomb, but it's the other secret rare. And I really like this card. I think this is one of the underrated secret rares. It just looks really cool. It's very simple. Just a little skinny dragon, but he's very, very cool. I really like that card. That's a nice one. Hamburger recipe. We didn't need a single Hungry Burger. No! Last pack. Pharaoh Servant. We just saw a secret rare. Does that mean there's a chance that a Jinzo is like, is that actually a real chance? Because that would be pretty crazy. Final pack of the opening. We have Gust. Thanks again for sending these custom packs in because this has been so much fun. Spike Bot. We've got the Solomon's Law Book. Mr. Volcano. Oh, and the other secret is the retail secrets. Nice. These are retail packs. It looks like we got some retail packs. Imperial Order. Very awesome. This card is so good still today. Even now, it is going to be banned again, even after Unrata, which is crazy. And, ooh, only tank rucks in 34. Thanks again to everyone who sent in some mail because that was really fun this time. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tone Fo Show, Tomato Juice, Cody J, Hawaiian Yu-Gi-Oh, Stanley, Mike Nance, and Mimic Gecko. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.